Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 21st. I'm Buddy C., and I'm an alcoholic from Atlanta, Georgia. AA thoughts for the day, prayer. Common sense would thus become uncommon sense. I was to sit quietly when in doubt, asking only for direction and strength to meet my problems, as he would have me. Never was I to pray for myself, except as my request bore on my usefulness for others. Then only might I expect to receive, but that would be in great measure. Bell W., Alcoholics Anonymous, page 13. Thought to consider. I listen for directions now. Acronyms. Hope. Hang on. Pray every day. Just for today. Assistance. From two employers. This is not to say that all alcoholics are honest and upright when not drinking. Of course, that isn't so. And such people often may impose on you. Seeing your attempt to understand and help, some men will try to take advantage of your kindness. If you're sure your man does not want to stop, he may as well be discharged. The sooner the better. You're not doing him a favor by keeping him on. Firing such an individual may prove a blessing to him. It may be just the jolt he needs. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 141. Daily Reflections, Cultivating Faith. I don't think we can do anything very well in this world unless we practice it. And I don't believe we do AA too well unless we practice it. We should practice acquiring the spirit of service. We should attempt to acquire some faith, which isn't easily done, especially for the person who has always been very materialistic, following the standards of society today. But I think faith can be acquired. It can be acquired slowly. It has to be cultivated. That was not easy for me, and I assume that it is difficult for everyone else. Dr. Bob and the Good Old Timers, pages 307 and 308. Fear is often the force that prevents me from acquiring and cultivating the power of faith. Fear blocks my appreciation of beauty, tolerance, forgiveness, service, and serenity. As Bill sees it, surveying the past. We should make an accurate and really exhaustive survey of our past life as it has affected other people. In many instances, we shall find that, though the harm done others has not been great, we have nevertheless done ourselves considerable emotional injury. Then, too, damaging emotional conflicts persist below the level of consciousness, very deep, sometimes quite forgotten. Therefore, we should try hard to recall and review those past events which originally induced these conflicts and which continue to give our emotions violent twists, thus discoloring our personalities and altering our lives for the worse. That's from the 12 and 12, pages 79 and 80. We reacted more strongly to frustrations than normal people. By reliving these episodes and discussing them in strict confidence with somebody else, we can reduce their size and therefore their potency in the unconscious. Letter 1957. Big Book Quote When we became alcoholics, crushed by a self-imposed crisis, we could not postpone or evade we had to fearlessly face the proposition that either God is everything or else he is nothing. God either is or he isn't. Alcoholics Anonymous, We Agnostics, page 53. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. After we have been in AA for a while, we find out that if we're going to stay sober, we have to be humble people. The men and women in AA who have achieved sobriety are all humble people. When I stop to think that but for the grace of God I might be drunk right now, I can't help feeling humble. Gratitude to God for His grace makes me humble. When I think of the kind of person I was not so long ago, when I think of the person I left behind me, I have nothing to be proud of. Am I grateful and humble? Meditation for the day. I must arise from the death of sin and selfishness and put on a new life of integrity. All the old sins and temptations must be laid in the grave and a new existence rise from the ashes. Yesterday is gone. 
All my sins are forgiven if I am honestly trying to do God's will today. Today is here, the time of resurrection and renewal. I must start now, today, to build a new life of complete faith and trust in God and a determination to do His will in all things. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may share in making the world a better place to live in. I pray that I may do what I can to bring goodness a little nearer to the earth. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.